Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Macha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. This is an article from uh, TheHill.com, all right, which just came out, and it says, uh, "Senate passes resolution reaffirming commitment to peaceful transition of power." Okay, and um, this is in relation to uh, this uh, November elections, all right, which a lot of eyes are on it because, you know, it's it's um, it's unsure, okay, as to whether Trump, if he loses, will be willing to leave office peacefully. Hence, they had to uh, they had to pass a resolution to reaffirm, all right, that which we're gonna read and find out, okay, and um, it's looking like. All right, if things do head down that path where Trump refuses to uh, to uh, to leave office, all right, you can forget about a presidency. Presidency, it will just become a dictatorship. All right, the same way Rome became an em uh, an empire with emperors. Okay, the Senate was still there. However, you know the 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 traditional way that they used to have before, you know, of each year somebody being voted in. All right, that 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 got that got that got done away with. Okay. So it says the Senate passed a resolution on Thursday reaffirming its support for a peaceful transition of power one day after President Trump refused to commit to such a transition next year if he loses in the November election. All right, so basically basically he's saying that look, if he loses the election, he's not he's not he's not really interested in uh transitioning power peacefully. It says the, the resolution offered by Democratic Senator Joe, uh, Joe Mack, what? No, hold up. Let me look this up. Joe, because I know they be having these, uh, these different pronunciations for their names. Let's hear this. What? Mansion. Mansion, okay. Anyway, so Joe Mansion. Uh, passed by unanimous consent, meaning no senator objected to it. So the whole Senate basically are saying, look, we're not trying to have any any trouble. We're not trying to have any, you know, back and forth. Whoever loses, you know, Trump, if you lose, you got to go peacefully, da 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 Now, this is basically going to be at that point where the Constitution stands or that, that, that joint is done away with. Because if Trump refuses to leave, all right, they're doing this in the name of the Constitution. If Trump refuses to leave, it's a wrap with your Constitution. All right? It says, uh, it's a shame that we have to come and reaffirm our commitment to our country, our Constitution, and who we are as a people. Sometimes we hear things that challenge that, and we heard that yesterday, and we were very concerned about that, <laughs> Machin, uh, uh, Machin said from the Senate floor. In the non-binding resolution, the Senate reaffirms its commitment to the orderly and peaceful transfer of power called for in the Constitution of the United States. It also throws the Senate's support behind the idea that there should be no disruptions by the president or any person in power to overturn the will of the people of the United States. And the people want Trump out of power. Okay, they want Trump out of power. As a matter of fact, I'll show you how how bad they want him out of power. Okay, let's go to rtnews.com. Okay, and let's look up, let's see, USA. Sure, there it is. They want him out of power. It says, vote him out, honor her wish. Protesters chant as Donald Trump pays respect to Ruth uh, Bader or Bader Ginsburg. All right, and I'll play this so you can hear it. This is how bad they want him out of power. I'll just get to the point. So there you can hear it. They were chanting what? Vote him out. Vote him out. Vote him out. Because that's that's what they want. So that's why they're here they're saying that um 
I'll read it again. It also throws the Senate's support behind the idea that there should be no disruptions by the president or any person in power to overturn the will of the people of the United States. So if Trump doesn't want to uh, leave office, then he has to be ready to, to uh, basically bear the hatred of the whole country against him. All right, which over here, man, look, prophecy is prophecy. All right, we're not out here supporting Trump or supporting people. We support a prophecy. All right. And so, hey, if him staying in office, declaring martial law and all that, that's what's going to lead to prophecy, then, hey, do what you got to do, man. Okay. But understand that if, if this, 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 this election is definitely going to draw a line. All right. And that's going to cause a great division in this in this land. Now, it says Trump has sparked bipartisan backlash after he told reporters at the White House at the White House that he would have to see what happens when asked if he would commit to in, uh, ensuring a or ensure, yeah, ensuring a peace, peaceful transition of power if he loses in November. All right. Now, when somebody says that, that's like, OK, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's like, give me one second. Um, that's like, I don't want to, I don't want to come out and say what my plans are, but I'm forced to say something. So, you know what? I'll just say, oh, we'll see what happens. You know, you hear that in like, you know, some of these, uh, uh um, uh, uh, to catch a predator, Dateline NBC shows, you know, when, when you got this predator, this pedophile creep talking to this uh underage girl as they you know and they in their mind they think it's an underage girl and then i see the girl ask him so what are we gonna do when you come over and it's just you and me and then they say oh we'll see what happens you know we, they, of course they have other plans in mind but they don't want to say it so when they say oh we'll see what happens you know as a way of like buying time okay and that's what trump is doing so in his mind it doesn't seem like he has plans of leaving that office if he loses uh, 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 peacefully, man. Okay. It says, um, he also tried once again to sow doubt about the security of mail in ballots because when you read the polls, all right, and our different articles, it tells you that majority of uh, Trump supporters are voting in person, while uh, Biden supporters, majority of them are going to vote by mail in ballots. So he's trying to say, right, that okay, if the, re the results we see, okay, on the TV basically. That's it. That's all we're going with because he doesn't count those uh, mail-in votes as valid. All right. Now, that can be deemed him, all right, uh, uh, not trying to transition power peacefully because he's not trying to acknowledge all the votes. It says, get rid of the ballots and you'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. <laughs> Are you hearing this? I'm going to read it again. Get rid of the ballots and you'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There will be a continuation, Trump said. You hear that? <laughs> so my man is not, he doesn't seem like he's interested in leaving office, man. It says the ballots are out of control. You know it. And you know, and you know who knows it better than anyone else? The Democrats know it better than anyone else. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's hilarious, man. All right. It says Trump has repeatedly declined to commit to accepting the results of the November election, saying he will have to see you hear that? You know, so so if you get if you get voted out, you know, if you lose the election, are you willing to leave peacefully? Well, we'll, we'll have to see. All right. Well, what do you mean we'll have to see? All right. And his only chance of staying in power, all right, if he loses, is by declaring declaring martial law or some some evoking some emergency power, all right, for him to stay in power. But that would transfer him from just a regular president to a dictator. Okay. It says he's also. Uh, argued that an increase in mail-in voting leads to fraud in the election, even though experts have repeatedly said there is no evidence tr uh, tying it to meaning uh, meaningful fraud. Okay, and what we're seeing here is what? A division. Okay, and what did the Lord say? All right, let's get that. So, hey, it's looking like uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, um, October... Okay, October to November, man, is going to be very interesting. Okay, now this is uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 24. It says, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. And that's what we see going on right now. This is the kingdom of, of Satan, all right? But in the physical counterpart being these uh, Edomites, 
okay? And their kingdom is divided, man. There's opposition, there's divisions everywhere, all right? And that is going to bring about a very chaotic, all right, time or a very chaotic destruction to this place, okay? People do not have hope in this place, man. People are seeing that there's, there's only one, one place or one way that this place is headed, and that's down, okay? And it's not going down peacefully, man. This place is going to go down rough. It's going to go down hard. It's going to go down chaotic, all right? And it's going to be very violent. Okay, what we're seeing is the calm before the storm, but we're starting to see the storm is picking up. Okay, and the steps towards that that hell breaking loose, that Jeremiah 30 and 7 and that Daniel uh, 12 and 1. All right, we're seeing those steps right now. Okay, so it's only a matter of time, man. But as the Lord, as the scriptures say, watch as well as pray. Okay, so we got to watch and pray that we be delivered from these times to come. All right, so with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.